How do you deal with complex structure of data in your unstructured data sets? For example, you might have complex charts, diagrams, tables, images, or screenshots within your PDFs, and you want to create a lag application, but you don't know how you parse those type of specific data? Well, here in this video, we're going to introduce you to the most recent and most advanced parser solution called Llama Parse that we just recently got released. And we're going to see how we can leverage that for an agent rack to be able to even have chatbots asking questions, even with complex formats of data, like complex tables, charts, and diagrams embedded in our PDF files and how we can customize these parser. Then let's go. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, let's get into brand new Llama Parser or Llama Parse. So first of all, what is Llama Parse? Potentially in your agentic frameworks or manual rack, you have been dealing with some PDF or documentations that they're dealing with complex structure of data. For example, you might have complex tables or images that under images there are some tables and diagrams or charts that you cannot chat with them easily just using naive rack or even just a simple agentic rack. So what's the approach here? I would say Lama Park is the most complex parser of those type of challenging data that you can use it to parse them before you index them and have your rack model ready. So it's used for broad file types like PDF, PowerPoint, Docs, Excel, Excel, Excel Sheet, HTML, and it can also use table recognition. It has a multi-model capability. So if you have images or diagrams, they will parse it for you and have it in a structured format so easy for your rag application and even custom parsing. So to show you even in more details on what it can do and how I could call it it's as open source, they have actually um, a sandbox already implemented. So I just want to quickly jump in. I, I signed in. And as we can see, this sandbox, you can quickly try that out. You can upload your files here and let Llama Parser parse your PDF, you'll see the outcome. So they have different modes. You have fast mode, they have accurate mode. You can even have some third-party multi-model models they recently integrated with also Azure models or Azure OpenAI. You can see you can also select some couple of other models as needed. The interesting part is that parsing instruction, you can have any instruction like a prompt here to tell how precisely you want to have or what part of data you want to have that parse for you. And interesting part, text and image handling. You can also tell some OCR object category recognitions or skip them or how you want to have image extraction, annotate links or capture page screenshots. If you want to specify page numbers or bounding boxes for a specific type of data embedded in your files, you can have that specified for you. And of course, this is just a UI based sandbox. You can have that in API defined as well. So talking about API, let me show you how I ran this inside this Google Colab. So the sample notebook that I'm running is added to a Discord channel. And the link of that is under video description below. You can get access to what I'm running here. So in this notebook, I just installed all these pip packages. So I'm skipping that part. It's coming with sample code. And for creating an agentic rack here, using this new parser, I'm using the annual report of Apple which here it is. And as you can see, it has a lot of tables and some of them can be complex from formatting. If, for example, my parser just mess up with the rows here, this number goes upper or lower, it's gonna mess up with all information and interpretation that I have. There might be some even uh, images or more complex charts. Actually, it's a hundred of thousands, hundreds of uh, different pages. So as you can see, it has a lot of different uh, information in different formats embedded inside this PDF, plus just simple text. So with downloading this, you need to have your Cloud API key, a Llama Cloud, and also your language model here. I'm using OpenAI for embedding stuff, so that's why I added, I executed the cell, and I removed that before recording this video. So here, I'm going to use my language model GPT-40, and for embedding that PDF, I'm using embedding three small from OpenAI as well. 
So now what we're going to do, we're going to compare how the solution is going to look like if we just go with a simple rag without using this parser and then also using these markdown capabilities of new Lama parser for having the output parse first and then create this recursive agent rag application. So here I'm just calling Lama parse with importing that and I want to have the result type as markdown for this PDF that we just downloaded. So with having these documents uh, out of Loma parser, I want to call it get page node. So what we're doing here with this function, we're just splitting each document retrieved from Loma parse into a page node by a, by a separator. And then here I am calling my OpenAI model for this markdown element node parser because this is the model that I'm going to use for, for Loma parser with some parallel processing stuff and as you can see it was running for me so I'm going to skip that and just make sure it is working properly I just grab one of the objects to see the content that is perfectly parsed. Now I am ready to dump both this index parse data and also the page text into a vector database. You can have your own vector database this is just an example here to have that ready for rack and here's one example as you can see the table got parsed for me in a markdown format. Alright so also, to make sure we are adding a flavor of precision to this retrieval, here we are using a re-ranker model, which is BGE. What it does is just re-ranking the results of your retrieved chunks to make sure they're relevant to the query that has been asked. This is optional, not a must you have. Now, first, to start with just a naive, simple rack. Here's the solution. We just read the data, load it, get the chunks back from vector database, and we are doing similarity search with top K based on the question that we asked and also running that re-ranking that we discussed. But with using the new Lama parser, we have that recursive query engine specified on the top. So now here's an example. Effective interest rates of all debts insur uh, issuances in 2021. This is actually from the PDF file that I uploaded and indexed that, right? So the first one, just get this query, go to the simple query engine. But the second one, use that advanced query engine, which is using the Lama parse. So as you can see here, the first answer is, okay, between this and that, here's the range. But with this recursive query with Lama parse, I got similar response, but when I was checking, actually the values are different. So potentially, given that we use parser, Lama parse, which is more advanced for even complex tables and charts, maybe these are actually the correct numbers, but uh, the simple raw rack wasn't able to capture the precise numbers because the parsing was not there, and we're just messing around with the rows that we are just grabbing from a PDF table, we messed up all the answer. So, and of course, you can also see what was the chunk, maybe just uh, chunk zero for getting the response back. Here's another example. I'm not going through the details, but just technically I wanted to show you an idea of how you can use Lama Parser, how you can install that, and what is the idea behind Lama Parse. And I would say certainly give it a try because so far, based on what I have found, this is the most advanced uh, parser solution to deal with any type of weird diagrams, charts, images, anything you have in the PDF that they, they are beyond just a simple text, this is a good way to start. All right, that was all about this video. If you liked it, I would be very thankful if you click on like icon and make sure you share your thoughts, questions, and comments in the comment section in the uh, below section of the video. Thank you so much.